Please be advised that this recorded webinar has been edited from its original format, which may have included a product demo. To set up a live demo or to request more information, please complete the form to the right. Or if you are currently not on CSC Global, there is a link to the website in the description of this video. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Recording for Law Firms, More Than Just a Deed. My name is Caitlin Alberta, and I will be your moderator. Joining us today are Sarah Savory and Andrew Singleton. Sarah is a CSC Electronic Recording National Account Manager for CSC in Wilmington, Delaware. In her role, she onboards submitters to our e-recording digital tools and assists in new client acquisition. Since joining the e-recording team in 2018, Sarah works with leading title underwriters, real estate firms, and leading institutions throughout the country. She provides first-class training and customer service, as well as live demonstrations. Andy is the National Account Manager and Corporate Consultant for CSC based out of Wilmington, Delaware. He joined the team in 2015 and his role includes onboarding submitters to CSC's e-recording digital tools and new client acquisition. And with that, let's welcome Sarah and Andy. Thank you, Caitlin, and I want to thank everyone uh, who's joining us today to, to uh, view this webinar. Um, Sarah and I have worked on it. Uh, extensively over the past couple of weeks. It's some great content, um, and, and it's specifically geared you know, for our, our uh, law firm clients. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to get over or review some things relative to CSC as a whole. Um, we are a business, legal, and financial services company that provides knowledge-based solutions to clients worldwide. Uh, we currently service more than 90% of the Fortune 500 companies more than 90% of the best 100, 100 global brands, and we, we serve well over 10,000 law firms throughout the country. Uh, we provide world-class si client service, and we're privately held and professionally managed. Displayed here is CSC's global footprint. Um, as you can see, we cover North America, uh, Europe, the Asian perspective, Asian Pacific markets. Um, in in um, in USA, we have offices pretty much all over uh, all over the country. We uh, because we act as registered registered agents, we have to have locations in in every state throughout the country. This map here displays our global fo footprint on a on a on a world scale. And this slide is a list of the various solutions and services that CSC as a whole provides. Um, again, CSC is the, the trusted partner of choice for more than 90% of the Fortune 500, more than 90% of the 100 best global brands, and more than 70% of the PEI 300. We are a global company capable of doing business wherever our clients are, and we accomplish that by employing experts in every business that we serve. Our tagline is, we are the business behind the business. And here you'll see um, our, our service is broken down. We have business administration, uh, administration and compliance, fund solutions, transaction and lending, domain security and brand protection, and capital markets. All right, so before we get started, here's a, uh, some additional services that, uh, law firm services that CSC provides, which includes representation services, secure transaction services, corporate filings, international services, global financial services, finally domain and brand services. And with that, I'm going to introduce my colleague and uh, fellow e-recording expert, Sarah Savory. Thank you, Andy, for that very warm introduction. Uh, but one correction on that, I like to say in this industry, there are no experts, just eager students, because certainly we uh, have such a, a wide-ranging and diverse base of not only clients, but also uh, county jurisdictions. Um, so I think we'll cover a lot of that today with the different document types and documents that certain jurisdictions accept. But before we kind of dive into the meat and potatoes of today's agenda, let's talk about why CSC for e-recording services. CSC is the leading provider of business, legal, tax, and digital brand services to companies around the globe. Our e-recording system bridges the gap between submitters and county offices. It enables easier document creation and a faster recordation process. 
Uh, so important to note also that CSC was first to market with an e-recording solution, and our services remain the benchmark for speed, efficiency, and security. So on today's agenda for this webinar, we're going to discuss electronic recording, e-recording with CSC. We are going to dive into even some particulars about what else can be e-recorded because, of course, when we think about e-recording, we think about our business model. We primarily are thinking about purchase transactions, so we're thinking about deeds and mortgages. Uh, but, in fact, there are a wide range of other available document types that you can record electronically and submit at the county level. We're going to talk a little bit about our value philosophy, value regardless of volume. So even if you are not a frequent submitter of e-recording, there is still lots of benefit of having an account with CSC. State-specific processes, um, as I kind of mentioned before, every county is just a little bit different. Every state's a little bit different. It's important that you are partnered with a company that knows the ins and outs of those different jurisdictions. We're going to talk a little bit about our paper recording services, our, our paper team, which is based in Tallahassee and is an integrated service within the ePrepare system. We're going to discuss the county fee calculator estimate, and we're going to preview a little demonstration of that later on today. Discuss our customer email notifications processes, do a Q&A, and of course, the ever-awaited and exciting time of the product demo. And with that, a little bit about e-recording with CSC. We were the first to market e-recording in 1999 in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We're partnered with nearly 2,200 counties throughout the country, and that encompasses nearly 88% of the U.S. population. E-recording is not just for real estate transactions. And when you do e-record with CSC, you have access to a world-class support team filled with individuals with years of real estate experience, as well as a dedicated account manager to assist you with setup and any questions throughout. Thank you, Sarah. On this slide, we're going to review what the header is, what, you know, more than just a deed, what else can be e-recorded in um, you know, in counties throughout the country. And uh, I have listed here um, just a few common document types, and I'll, I'll review them real quick. Liens and, and transfer of liens, uh, plats and surveys, notices and memos, uh, estate planning type documents, judgments and, and abstracts, uh, affidavits, HOA-related documents. Uh, for our construction side, permits and notice of commencements. Um, we have right-of-ways, easements, Anything that's oil, gas, and mineral related can be e-recorded. Of course, power, power of attorneys are, are very, uh, pop, very popular and very common. Um, assignments and releases or satisfactions of mortgages. Modifications, amendments, even medical liens can be e-recorded as well as divorce decrees. Um, on the county level, various types of UCCs from ones to threes to, to um, amendments to financial UCC documents can be e-recorded. Um, among many others. So, the you know the point being here is th this is just a, a small sample of what else outside of the title and uh, mortgage space that can be processed and e-recorded uh, through the through through our our platform throughout the country with all the counties that accept e-recording. Um, Sarah, what's your, what's your thoughts? Does anything on this list stand out to you? Uh, you know. Even though it seems like it's quite an exhaustive list, what stands out to me really is just that it isn't. Um, it, it's so funny. I mean, you might have uh, neighboring counties where when you begin to e-record, one county accepts 240 different types of documents through e-recording, and then another county accepts 37. I mean, it really does sort of run the gamut that wide. I was speaking to a, a client just a couple of weeks ago, and he referred to counties as mini countries. And I thought that was, uh, <laughs> that was pretty apropos um, at that point. But, you know, I, I think it's really important here to understand, you know, not just that you can record a, a myriad of different documents through the platform, but, you know, also that, you know, you have the expertise of our team to guide you. You know, let's say in the example that um, you don't see a document, you know, that matches your document type exactly. 
I mean, with that scenario, Andy, what would you, if it was your customer reaching out and saying, hey, you know, Andy, I'm trying to record XYZ document, but I just don't see it listed here, you know, does that mean that the county doesn't accept it? I mean, where would you direct them? Yeah, not necessarily. Um, you know, you may have something, sim you know, a, a county may, may accept something that's just kind of all-encompassing, like an assignment, for example, where that assignment could be assignment of anything, a, a assignment of leases of rents, assignments of mortgage, mortgage and things like that. There may be a deed document type that's all-encompassing that would include a quick claim deed that an estate planning firm may, may, may record as well. So um, chances are the counties will accept it electronically. It's just finding you know, finding that document type that that's, that county calls it. Um, and many counties, counties also have a other or miscellaneous category where kind of a catch-all where everything else can be labeled as miscellaneous or other and ultimately be submitted and recorded under that, under that document type. Um, yeah, so, and, and I'll, I'll add real quick, uh, Sarah, and, and, you know, if I'm forgetting any, please, please, um, re, you know, remind me, but, different types of law firms, right, that accept e-record, not just real estate law firms, as we're, we've mentioned before, but, you know, the estate planning law firms, environmental law, energy law, healthcare law, you know, um, tax firms, you know, they all can e-record their, their, their documents. We, we, you and I have worked with plenty over the years that, you know, they, they have, uh, you know, their firm does all kinds of law types, right, but uh, their real estate law, you know, or, or their their environmental law group may not know that their real estate law firm can e-record documents and vice versa. So um, it's really just an education. It's an opp opportunity to educate uh, firms that have that, that operate under uh, multiple business models um, that they can use CSC and use e-recording for just about all of their, all of their processes. No, I, th I think you're absolutely right, Andy. And, you know, even in cases where, you know, let's say, you know, you're talking about a firm that's got a national presence, right? I mean, we've got plenty of customers that are massively large law firms that, you know, run, you know, coast to coast. And just yeah. depending on the different areas of law that they practice, and sometimes, you know, even even their location, right? You can really see that wide variety of different document types being run through our platform, technically through one account, and how different every single one of those documents uh, you know, really is. So, I mean, I think, you know, at the end of the day, uh, when we're talking about, you know, sort of the theme for this webinar and, you know, getting into all of the different areas um, that can be serviced through e-recording and the different documents that can be recorded through our system, it's just going to continue to expand. Um, you know, even as new counties adopt e-recording, I know that there's always efforts to expand the types of documents that are accepted. Because um, at the end of the day, there's obviously a, a vested interest once a county begins e-recording to accept more and more documents electronically, um, you know, especially after the last couple of years and, and when we had the shutdown, more and more, uh, you know, counties are moving away from wanting to process anyone's paper. Absolutely, absolutely. Let, Sarah, let's, let's uh, have a conversation about the first one, liens and lien transfers. Um, what types of liens do you, does some of your, your clients, you know, you, you have the typical, just a basic lien, uh, you know, we want to put a lien on a property, but yeah, anything else that, 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 you know, how expansive is our lien, our lien processes with an e-prepare? No, it's, it's really expensive. And it's kind of, you know, it's interesting that we, we kind of start with liens because, you know, again, when we, we're kind of looking at the industry and we're, we're talking about, um, you know, obviously real estate being down, there's, there's a certain ebb and flow that occurs in recording, right, where, okay, maybe purchase might be down, but in this case, perhaps, you know, liens and foreclosures and things of that nature are up. Um, I had an entire firm in Florida that all they did was medical liens. And it was, you know, an expansive amount of, wow. of documents that are filed. Of course, mechanic liens would be another one that go yeah. on record. And, and even to your point, Andy, you know, some counties might have it spelled out, you know, 13 different types of liens. And then another might just, you know, literally any sort of lien they're accepting through a broad category. Yeah. Yeah. And, and a new feature that we, we rolled out earlier this year is that schedule send capability. Um, and I find that most commonly used with our, our clients that, that record liens. Um, Absolutely. And, and, and we'll touch upon that uh, later on, but the, 
within ePrepare, you have the ability to schedule documents, not just liens, but any document to be sent at a certain date and time. And a, a lot of our, our clients will go in on the first of the month, prepare all of their liens, have everything ready to go. And once, say, the 15th rolls around and, and the liens haven't been satisfied, we all, we, you know, it's scheduled to be sent on that at that date and time. So um, that's a really nice feature and, and one that we've seen our our, um, our lean clients uh, really take advantage of and, and, and enjoy. Um, one thing that stands out to me, Sarah, and maybe you can um, elaborate on, on this a little bit, but it's more of a question, but how often do, when you talk to a client of uh, or a prospective client for e-recording, how often do they say, Oh, I didn't know you were the same CSC. We use CSC for representation or for registered <laughs> agents or what have you. And it turns out that they didn't know that we had e-recording. And, and that's when it get, gets into the web of, well, we have a real estate division that could probably really use you guys. And, you know, that, that's how, that's where really, uh, where we really get into a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of things with our, our, law, our current law firm uh, clients. Oh, all the time. All the time, and you know, it, it, it just goes to show, you know, um, the relationships that we have across so many different business models are so expansive. And typically, you know, customers who are using us for e-recording, they were already using us for something else. So it's kind of like, you know, this is the CSC that I know and trust, and you know, we're expanding and letting them know about an additional service. So, uh, how often does that happen? More often than not, Andy, <laughs> absolutely more I often agree. than not, especially at conferences. <laughs> yeah, uh, I agree. I agree. Yep, and it's it's uh, it's good to have that that established, like you said, that established relationship with a firm that knows and trusts CSC and has for years. Um, it just makes that transition. It makes our jobs a little easier to convince them. Go ahead and make the transition to e-recording and start start using start you know add e-recording to their to their list of uh, services that CSC can provide for them. Um, and, I, and I'll finish up here, Sarah, real quick. Just, uh, uh, you know, you had mentioned the county knowledge. So within ePrepare, we have a county knowledge uh, link, if you will. And you can go to that, that county knowledge link, and Sarah will show that later on in, during the presentation. Um, and you can review uh, every county's list of accepted document types. Sarah's touched upon, um, you know, one county may have 200 documents that they'll allow to be e-recorded and the neighboring county may only allow 30 and, and vice versa. So um, what you see here, here is a small sample of what can be e-recorded, but within that county knowledge model within ePrepare, you can get a, a, a step by or, or a, every, a list of every document that every county can accept electronically. Great point, Andy. So here we're going to discuss value regardless of volume. Um, you know, we, we have many submitters. We have some of the largest uh, institutions, financial institutions that, that use our ePrepare system where they're recording thousands and tens of thousands of documents a month. Um, and then we have, we have uh, uh, many other clients where they're, they only need it a couple times a month, right? So, and, and then everything in between. And um, we want to, on this slide, um, display the reasons or the value depending, you know, the, the, regardless of what, the, what your volume is. And um, for example, we have flexible fee schedules for both low and high volume submitters. Um, you have access to our entire network. You have unlimited users. Anyone within your organization can, can have access to the account. We have a uh, multiple office feature. Um, we have multiple types of payment options available. Uh, we also provide detailed report library for reconciliation. And of course, our state-of-the-art archive repository. Um, Sarah, anything here that you uh, you want to add or or you you like to expand upon? Yeah, you know, it, it just kind of makes me think, and and you know, I hate to kind of keep circling back towards you know the time when courthouses were shut down, but you know, I received so many panicked calls from paralegals and attorneys during that time that, you know, perhaps had reached out to another vendor and because they were not recording X amount per month, they were unwilling to set up an account for them. Um, so I'm always sort of reminded that we're, we're pretty fortunate to, you know, work for a company where, you know, we take a lot into consideration when we are evaluating the relationships that we have with our clients and, of course, the, the pricing that is available to those clients. And I do truly believe that, you know, even if you're recording, you know, a, a handful or a dozen 
documents per year, there is value to be found in having a state-of-the-art system where you can submit those documents securely and ensure that those documents are recorded with the clerk's office in a timely way. Um, so definitely, you know, within the platform and, and sort of our pricing structure, I mean, you said it all, Andy. It's, it's value regardless of volume through that. How about you? I agree. Yeah, uh, it's it's yeah. We we'd like to get to know our our customers. We want to learn their current their processes because we know what we offer will simply make their lives easier. Um, but we do want to we want to we want to find out what they what they're recording where um, things like that to uh, yeah you know, make sure that what we have to offer them you know can they can maximize um, our our platform and and truly take advantage of everything that it, it can offer and um, and that doesn't you know, it's not one stop shop. This is, um, you know, this is the fees, the take it or leave it kind of thing. We want to get to learn what your processes are, and then take it from there in terms of uh, let's find a, a fee schedule that that fits that fits what you're what you're doing and what you're working with. Um, the entire network availability. You know, when when you create an account with us, you have access to every county that we're partnered with. You know, right right from the start, and then any additional counties that we we go live with thereafter. Um, we add anywhere between five to ten counties every week to our network, um, and, and and there's no need to reach out to us and, and say I need access to, you know, this county or that county. Um, you have access to every county, you know, when when you create an account with us. Unlimited users. Um, you know, Sarah and I have talked about it previously, where we have you know nationwide law firms, um, and and actually the multiple office feature can can speak to this as well, both the unlimited users and multiple office feature, where some of our national scale law firms, um, where they each have their own you know, location e-recording, but within those, those locations, you can have unlimited users. Anyone within your organization can have access to those, those respective counts, uh, accounts, and, and um, there, there, there's, it's not limited to just a handful of people per, per location. Um, Anything on any any thoughts on that, Sarah? Anything to, to to add on that? Yeah, I mean, you know, again, I I have had um, you know plenty of nationwide law firms um, that run the gamut of of every industry, and you know, something that's not touched on here um, too much, but you know, the the report section has really been sort of something that has um, elevated their back-end processes. So, you know, you think about the value just of having the, um, you know, the electronic recording of the document and the, the prompt and secure recording of the document, but it is amazing how back-end processes can be improved for accounts payable teams who are responsible, you know, sometimes on a regional level, sometimes on a national level um, for reconciliation on some of these recordings for the different law firms. That's a, that's a good point. And, you know, if we were to do this demo a year, two, three years ago, some of this stuff wasn't available. And the re and and why it's available now is because we've solicited and 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 we constantly ask for feedback from our submitter base. Um, and we yeah. have a development team that's constantly developing our product. Right? Uh, we take our feed, we value our feedback from our our customers. We listen to them, and if it makes sense, if it's doable, then we'll make it happen with the need prepare. The detailed report library is a is a perfect example of that. Um, when I first started here, there was just a handful of, uh, of different uh, reports that you could generate at any point in time with an e-prepare. Now there's, uh, I believe, 25 different types of reports that touch on just about mm -hmm. everything from, from, you know, from user statistics to various types of financial reports and, and things like that. So, uh, you know, the, the point that I'm making there that I want to make there is that our dev team is always working to improve our product, and we 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 get that, or we make those improvements based upon the information and and, data and, and feedback that we get back you know, that we get back from our, our current submitters. All right, let's dive into some state specific processes. So you know, again, we we talk more and more and more about you know all of the different 
industries that e-record, but it's important to also remember sort of all of the players on the county side. And there are some specifics that are county specific and state specific. So just touching on some of those, um, the North Carolina Administration of Courts, the AOC, we are integrated with that. That is a feature available within ePrepare for North Carolina. Um, Illinois, my deck deeds portal, Georgia, GSCCCA portal, the New York ACRIS system, of course, Hawaii Bureau of Conveyances, California, the, uh, the Secure and CERTNA portal requirements, in Minnesota, when you're selecting abstracts versus torrents, Massachusetts Land Court Registry, Tennessee has a requirement with that certificate of authenticity, and, uh, you know, of course, cover sheets. Now, as I'm kind of going through that, one thing that kind of stands out to me, Andy, is, is California because it's so interesting because up until um, really just two years ago, uh, in the state of California, the only industries that were able to electronically record there were uh, title companies and uh, institutional lenders. So it's really only within the last two years that that industry uh, has opened up for yeah, attorneys that, in California. Yeah. That's that's true, and, and um, underwriters and, and government agencies could also uh, record it uh, in addition to those two that you, you mentioned. Um, back in 2016, the state of California passed legislation to allow – to expand for e-recording, to allow other entity types to, to e-record. Um, but like you said, it, it went into effect – I think it was January 2020. Um, it went into effect that allowed for law firms and attorneys and other entity types to – to e-record. Now we mentioned Secure and Certina, uh, the the portal, the two portals, statewide portals that are in California, and we're integrated through Secure and Certina. So any submitter that wants to record in the state of California, about half the counties participate in Secure, maybe the other half or so uh, participate in Certina. Um, and ultimately, you, when you record documents through ePrepare, it, it really is tra it's, it's, it's transmitted through either the secure or certain portal, ultimately landing at the county level to be uh, recorded and executed, recorded, and returned back to you. Uh, but that's a good point. Another thing, too, uh, that stands out to me, Sarah, is the cover sheets, right? We know that um, just about you know, all over, it seems like every state has some cover sheet requirement. Um, I think in New Jersey, for example, where where all of their their counties require cover sheets. Um, do you want to expand on how we how we handle that? How we how we do cover sheets in ePrepare? So that's going to vary uh, to your point, Andy. Of course, uh, you know, county by county, state by state. In in some circumstances, just sort of by way of you know e-recording, the need for a cover sheet is eliminated. In some circumstances, we are generating that cover sheet uh, sort of on the back end for you. And then there's some circumstances where you have the option to either upload, if you have a prepared cover sheet, you can upload it into the system, or you can use our digital, uh, our level three environment to actually create, generate, and execute um, a cover sheet within our system. Um, and then it kind of transmits and, and turns into a, a level two document when it's submitted to the county for recording. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, the, the point here is that not only are you partnering with a company for an e-recording solution, but to the best of our abilities, we really are trying to lead um, the expertise um, in the industry because every county is so different, every state is so different. Um, even uh, Tennessee, that certificate of authenticity, something changed with them just in the last, I think, about year where before you were able to just kind of keep uploading the same certificate of authenticity, but now they changed it. So you have to have the, uh, the, the accurate date listed. So there's certain changes that happen at the county level where they evaluate and it's important to partner with a company that is kind of staying abreast on all of those because things are always subject to change. That's that's one thing that this industry is consistent with is change. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that, that's a good point. And I'll, I'll finish this slide with this uh, regarding specifically the New York ACRIS system. For any, any, any of you in the audience that, that records through uh, ACRIS, the nice thing with our system when, with respect to the cover sheet, our system actually allows you to prepare and review the ACRIS cover sheet in our system before submit, submitting it onto the, to the, jurisdic, the jurisdiction to be recorded. Um, my understanding is, and it, it's been a while since I've, I've um, 
heard this, but my understanding is if you go through Acris, you don't have that ability to review it. Our system does allow you to review that cover sheet through Acris before sending it on to the county. It's something that's very popular with our, our uh, submitters that record in New York and um, explains why we have such a strong, strong position in, in that part of the country. Great. All right. So in addition to the e-recording solution we offer, we do also offer a full-service paper recording option. Um, this is a, an integrated solution within the e-prepare system so that if you have an account with CSC for e-recording, you can also track and manage uh, the paper application as well. And this is something that Goodness, we use it sometimes just as a full service if somebody does not want to have to manage the e-recording within their office, and our team will paper file the documents with counties that do not accept electronic recording, and they could even e-record the documents on your behalf when they are able to be e-recorded. Um, this process is completely comprehensive. It is an innovative solution and our team is adept at managing non-traditional project workflows and projects. Uh, E-recording team, they do provide a concierge level of service, and it is a single and centralized application, more convenient, controlled, faster process with tracking and status updates reported through ePrepare. And uh, improved efficiency, this is actually worth mentioning um, because we've only recently been able to consolidate our billing processes for e-recording and paper filing. All right, next on this slide, we're going to uh, key in on a few, few of our, our bigger um, county activations for 2022. Um, just a reminder, we're, we're partnered with nearly 2,200 counties throughout the country that encompasses uh, nearly 80% of the U.S. population. Um, this year alone, we've added Gwinnett County, Georgia. Um, that's significant because that closes up the, the entire Atlanta, Atlanta market. Um, we we uh, added Manatee County, Florida. Again, another significant milestone in that that closes up the Sarasota um, and Tampa Bay market. Um, and then, of course, Orleans Parish is a, a significant uh, add to our, our network here. Um, and the other ones listed here are Mahoning, Ohio, and Anderson, South Carolina. Enjoy the benefits of digital with e-recording. So uh, just, again, we, we've talked a little bit about um, sort of high-level how there is value to be found within e-recording for all levels uh, and practices of attorneys. But at the baseline, there is convenience, there is speed, transparency, and of course, communication. With e-recording, you're able to retain control of all the internal processes, um, recording office process first come, first served. The documents are submitted in seconds, not hours or days. Documents returned electronically, typically same day, uh, so you're not waiting on paper and, and mail. It can potentially take weeks. Um, submissions are date and time stamped, and you receive immediate notification of rejections with an ability to correct and resubmit those documents. It is important to note that, of course, your security is important to us, and we do have uh, additional security measures within the e-recording framework. So we do have uh, data encryption, a detailed dis disaster recovery plan, secure data storage facility, and we are SOC 2 audited, secure, and web-based. Now we're going to dive into a little bit of the additional features and enhancements within ePrepare. Um, the county fee calculator estimate. So this is an enabled feature that complements the ePrepare system. It would allow you to input information about um, specific documents and the jurisdiction to retrieve an estimate of the recording fees prior to the submission. Um, this is available for all document types. It is state and county specific, and you receive unlimited access to this feature with the subscription for it. And I will go ahead and demonstrate this feature a little bit later in the, uh, the demo today. Now within ePrepare, we have the ability to provide what are called custom email notifications. Um, it's available in a standard 
uh, feature, or we have the uh, we like I said we have the ability to customize the email. Um, it seamlessly notifies your clients, staff, colleagues, and others once your doc once the documents have been recorded. Um, provide attachments of the recorded documents or instruments uh, with the notifications, and it's available in either a PDF or TIFF environment. And here's a sample of a custom email notification where you can you can upload or provide your, your own company logo, uh, your return to information, your contact information in the, in the custom email. Um, this is very useful for, for primarily for third parties, right? So uh, your clients, those that you're representing, you need to provide them with copies of the recorded documents once the packages have been recorded. Um, instead of waiting for the documents to come back to you and printing them out, mailing them, and, or hand delivering them to, the, to your clients, if you have their email address, you can notif you, you can, they can be part of the not notification cycle uh, within ePrepare. You can add their, their email into the, into the email notifications part, check, check off that you want a copy uh, sent to your client, and that's it. Once the document has been recorded, they will receive an email notification along with either a PDF or TIFF image attached to that email.